Five recommended things to do on Santorini, Greece. Why listen to me? A, I'm a geographer. I love getting out there on the landscape. B, I recently planned for an entire year a trip to Santorini and recently took that trip. Number one, descend and climb back up the stairs to the Aegean Sea off of Fira Town. Go down to the old harbor. There are donkeys, as you can see here, but I would descend the steps. It takes about 50 minutes down and 50 minutes back up. Well worth it. It's steep, but you can do it. Highly recommend that. Here is the base of that cliff. It's truly spectacular, descending and ascending, and some wonderful views no matter what time of day. Second, explore Fira and Ia towns. Both are the classic white and blue stone and plaster perched on the cliffs there. Absolutely one of the world's most spectacular settings. It's on a caldera, so it's in a volcanic zone, but it's absolutely amazing. And you can see the weather is just perfect when I was there. I highly recommend going at that time of year, September. It was a bit toasty, but oh my gosh, look at the sunsets, the sunrises. They were just absolutely magnificent. So explore those towns. There's shopping to be sure, but there's also spectacular you know, rooftop cafes and lots of hiking as we'll talk about in a moment. Third, swim at Parissa Beach off the southeast coast. Swim at Parissa Beach. There's not really a good way to get around the island. And that is unfortunate, yet you can't bike or scooter. Take a bus. The bus is quite nice. It's inexpensive. There's a majorly congested bus stop in the center of Fira Town from which you can take buses all over the island. But they are very well organized, and that's the best way to get to the beach. And what a beach it is. Look at this view. This mountain rolling right into the ocean and Black Pebble Beach. Nice temperature for the water, too. Fourth, hike from Fira Town to Ia. I would recommend doing it in that order, from south to north. I think the views are spectacular, and it's a nice up-and-down route including Skaros Rock along the way, as you can see here. Definitely do that. The views along the way, here's Skaros Rock. A bit precarious in places, but just be careful. Bring a hat, bring some water, bring sunglasses for sure. Bring some sunblock, but south to north, Fira to Ia. And fifth, sail to and climb the volcano in the center of the caldera. Here's the volcano in the distance. It takes about 75 to 90 minutes to climb to the top from the coast. I would recommend the Dakutos brothers. They were very, very good. D-A-K-O-U-T-R-O-S, Dakutros brothers excursions. This emulated an old-style sailing ship. It was very well equipped. It was wonderful jumping off the deck into the semi-warm waters where the hot springs are running off of the volcano. And there are some fumaroles that you can see here and smell and feel the steam coming out. You can walk to the top of the volcano, see the magnificent views in all directions, and even some plants growing up there. It's amazing because it's even erupted in relatively recent 20th century times, and there's actually some, some vegetation growing up there. Absolutely magnificent. Those are the five recommended things that this geographer thinks you should do in Santorini on the island of Santorini, Greece. F. Caristo for being here. Get out there and explore.